All right, so before we get into themes and templates, there's one more WooCommerce configuration setting that is very important and should not be overlooked, and that is your shipping zones, okay? So the shipping zone is going to be basically a WooCommerce setting that needs to be defined. WooCommerce needs to know what the shipping values are so that it can append it to the final price uh, of the item your customer is checking out with, right? Some merchants like to build their shipping costs into the price of the product, but I'd recommend you don't do that, especially if you're selling competing products, because that can impact how users uh, view or whether or not users even check out, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do in, ter in terms of like just shocking the, the price shock, okay? So like most of the commercial uh, merchants out there, usually you're gonna have a flat shipping rate option with most of the advanced shopping carts like WooCommerce. So that's what we're gonna set up now. So we're gonna go to WooCommerce and we're gonna go to settings and we're going to go to shipping, okay? We have to set up a shipping zone. So a shipping zone basically is just a geographic region where a certain set of shipping methods and rates apply. So we're gonna create an origin shipping zone point. So that's by region. So if you are a United States merchant, you're going to your zone name is going to be the United States. You can name it whatever you want. Just know that uh, it should be the name of your region, okay? Just for um, uh, clerical uh, organization, right? So we're gonna name this zone name United States. Again, you can name your zone whatever you want, but we're gonna name this United States for clerical organization. Then we're gonna select our region, definitively select our region. So we're gonna disposition, disposition our region. So if you are based in the United States, you just choose United States. If you're watching from another country, like let's say South Africa or uh, Asia, any one of those Asian countries, find out where your country is on here. All of the countries basically in the world are represented in this. So I'm gonna choose the United States and the shipping method we're going to create is a flat rate shipping. Now there are so many other uh, advanced shipping rules you can use in WooCommerce. Um, there are separate plugins, in fact, for that, that extend this part of WooCommerce. But like I said, for most shopping carts, for most use cases, this should suffice. So I choose the United States and I'm gonna add a shipping method. I'm gonna choose flat rate and I'm gonna add the flat rate. So I'm gonna tell WooCommerce, I'm gonna charge a fixed flat rate for shipping and it's gonna be $5.99, okay? Whatever your shipping rate is, put that there. Now, like I said, this is a basic setting. We click on edit. This is a basic setting. If you want something where you want a flat rate and you wanna trigger let's say once the customer spends an, an exact amount, amount uh, for free shipping, let's say, right? So once they hit the free shipping threshold, then the shipping is free. You can also tell the shopping cart that's in WooCommerce. So we're gonna use that and we're gonna hit edit for free shipping. So free shipping requires a minimum order amount of let's say 50 bucks. That's typically 50, 75 bucks, 35 bucks is typically what you see on average, where you can get free shipping from some of the big commercial uh, online retailers, right? So coupon discount, actually, de it depends actually on the business category. I know that for electronics, it's usually higher, a higher amount, okay? So coupon discounts, we don't wanna do anything here with coupon discounts or anything like that. Apply a minimum order rule before dis coupon discounts. If you want, you can do that, but this is not necessary for right now, okay? Like I said, there are so many shipping configurations out there, but with what WooCommerce comes with natively, okay, you can extend it, is basic. You can extend it with other plugins. So now that this has been saved, let's go to shipping options, and we're gonna go to shipping calculations. Enable the shipping calculator on the cart page. You don't need to necessarily enable the shipping calculator. It can create confusion with the customer. So this is good if 
you are using sort of like a shipping a shipping zone uh, that where shipping rates from the origin point so in this case our shipping zone united states to let's say uh somewhere uh in uh the other end of the united states for instance i'm based in massachusetts and let's say we're shipping something out to california well sometimes a flat rate cannot be offered depending on the merch depending on where you're getting your items your vendors etc so using this option is going to confuse the customer if you already have flat rate so you can deselect this okay now shipping destination default to customer shipping address default default to the customer billing address okay so you want to leave this selected the way it is enable debug mode you don't need to do anything there so we're just going to save changes and let's take a look at shipping classes so the shipping classes option here there have been no shipping classes created so if you add something like add a shipping class you can add a shipping class name, et cetera, et cetera. This is more for organization. Okay, this has nothing to really do with uh, setting this up specifically like, and it's gonna make a difference <laughs> or anything for you, okay? But that's shipping for you. Those are the shipping settings you need to have set up. And then obviously the store address, okay? So your origin shipping point is always going to be on the customer's bank statements, the origin. Okay, so in this case, the store address, which is in my case, based in the United States for this demonstration. Okay, so we have our shipping, we have our shipping classes, we're ready to go and move on to the next step. So let's take a look at WordPress templates.